What is going on, guys? Urban Shooter SP here on Le Twitch Eru. Uh, I have no idea what that was, but I'm in a really good mood today because it's a beautiful day here in Minnesota. I am going to be doing some gameplay on the intelligence of a necromancer in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. This is a seasonal, as you can see right on the screen. Uh, I know very little about the seasonal type of thing, but I'm just going to go roll with it. Um, I am also playing as a necromancer as well in a standard story mode without doing the seasonal stuff as well. So I think maybe somewhere down the line I might do other... Ooh, we can do hard. Nice. Uh, so I just hope that I know exactly what I'm doing here and having some fun. And we are going to just uh, not worry about, you know, uh, watching the cinematics because, you know, everybody knows exactly what the cinematics are in Diablo 3, either if you're playing on PlayStation 4 or on PC or Xbox One. I am or Xbox myself. One X, if the game is indeed on that system. So, anyways. <laughs> But, uh, you know, when I first started playing as a necromancer in my previous walkthrough that I'm not doing because I'm since I before said that I'm doing the seasonal for my necromancer as well. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I really like the way how the necromancer is built upon not just its main thing, which is intelligence, obviously. It's the way how the necromancer uh, works on its on the skills that it provides what you're going to basically it doesn't matter what you're doing in terms of skills or passive or if they're offensive the star. so yeah I thought that would be kind of cool to do I've been also I've been wanting to do some stuff for Diablo 3 I just haven't really had the time because you know I've been playing the two games of the three that are coming out this year for my fall library. Uh, I played through, um, what was it? Spider-Man PlayStation 4. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Definitely one of the best games I've played exclusively on the PlayStation 4. And then I just previously uh, finished uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider last night, as a matter of fact. And I really enjoyed that one as well. Um, I do believe that Shadow of the Tomb Raider is probably not going to be the best in the series. But it indeed had a really good story. I really enjoyed the story to the utmost as much as I enjoyed the stories from, you know, uh, Tomb Raider back, I think, was it 2013 or 2014? And then from Ventured On to Rise of the Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 4. So, <clears throat> another thing I was going to mention as well. Uh, I was actually a, what I was also absolutely impri um, surprised of the fact that uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was not a timed exclusive anymore for the PlayStation 4. Because um, when Rise of the Tomb Raider came out for the Xbox One, that was a timed exclusive. And it really pissed off a lot of gamers. And it really pissed me off, though, too, because I love those games. But. So I I'm just Seven glad that years. they didn't do that Villagers this year because it would have probably maybe pissed off a lot of more Tristram. people than, than what they did but with the Rise of the Tomb Raider game that was exclusive for about a year and then came through the PlayStation the 4. Star. I did. So but it blasted my uncle yeah. came into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally. Watch out! The wounded are turning. Killing business. The dead will yeah. thank you. you... All right, let's go through uh, Leon's room here. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. That promise marker I protected. I do remember, however, 
remember playing uh, Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 back in the day. I think Diablo was a PlayStation 1 game as well, other than... Well, I've other than it may Strike have gone to PC, I'm not queen. quite sure. Yeah. It's been a long time. But I remember playing those games, and those games were just a lot, were so mothers. much fun. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Absolutely fell in love with them, and they just, um... They're just, a, they're just very memorable games. You know, and um, I was very happy that they were going, that Blizzard Entertainment was going to release another Diablo. I'm like, oh yeah, can't wait. It's gonna be dope. I just like this type types of uh, mythos or the lore of the trilogy, you know, and the way how Diablo three just really sets the bar in terms of its, you know, graphics because, you know, I remember Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 didn't really look the greatest, but they were very revolutionary in its prime back in the day, and that's what made them so more exciting at the same time, so. I understand so much Level 3! <laughs> Grim Scythe. Look at all those dead bodies, man. Just wait till um, when the Necromancer has more skills opening up when you level up more. Uh, there's a lot of potential there. There's a really deep and interesting potential of those skills because um, I'm trying to remember what skill it was when I played through this game on my normal Necromancer since it's not a seasonal one like the one that I'm playing now. But I really enjoy it. It's so much fun what the Necromancer can do in terms of its skill-wise. Either if it's offensive or passive. So my bad if I'm just doing some repetitiveness there. But I simply don't care. That was a bad uh, accent or what exactly, what exactly what I'm trying to do. I don't know. So... <laughs> But this is simply right now a part two, um, a part two, excuse me, a part one, a part two, good lord, pardon my language. So I'm going to go through the skills here real quick. Uh, the one that I just previously opened up called Grim Scythe, uh, generate 12 essence per enemy slash when a summon scythe is front of you damaging nearby enemies. That's kind of nice. I tried it for a little bit, but I, it, it, it I finally decided that it wasn't really growing on me as much as I wanted it to. So I decided to just, you know, stay with the bone spikes. Now, what's really nice about this bone spikes, uh, you know, you have your uh, your primary and then you have your secondary um, skill ruins. Basically, they're your secondary, as it were, to make these uh, your three primaries up here a lot more stronger. I really like that aspect and the concept of that. And it's so cool. Uh, the bone spear costs 20 essence. Summon a piercing projectile that causes damage to all enemies and it passes through. Now, this is actually pretty badass very early on. But once you, like, go in through a, a mild array of enemies in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls here, uh, you want to probably maybe want to invest into the Skeletal Mage. It unlocks at level 5. So we will definitely... I will be definitely showing you what that Skeletal Mage uh, secondary will do. And so... Yeah, I tried this Death Nova. It's okay. It's definitely not one of my favorites amongst the Bone Spear and the Skeletal Mage are my favorite two favorites. So we'll just figure out when that time comes to what uh, we will be doing in terms of the skills, what e either e either uh, either if they're passive or offensive or defensive for that sort of matter. Because each character that you make in Diablo three has their own set of unique skills, either if they're secondary and or primary. So, ooh, look at that. We found some quick shoes. Nice. Items crushed. Ah, yeah. 
Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked from afar with the death spike. And I forgot what character in Diablo 3 also works on intelligence. Yes, it's the wizard. That's right. That's another um, one I might actually end up doing for as a seasonal character as well. But that's going to be a while because I know that uh, there are different seasons in terms of, you know, like rewards and special skills that you might partake in for your character. So, all right, enough talking for right now. Not enough essence. Not enough essence. You're right. I don't have enough essence. Uh oh. <laughs> That's another thing I like about that uh, spike uh, ability or skill, as you may, as I call it. Uh, it just pierces those enemies like crazy. Love it. So much fun. Level four. Nice. I will eventually be working through... Uh, corpse explosion. That's a pretty nice ability. Ooh. Oh. That's a nice ability. Especially when you're like going out through multiple of enemies. Try to do that on me. There we go. Ha ha! Look, ooh, reptilian cloth, a cloth tunic of slaughter. Let's see, what are we? Let's see. Nice. Step up. Uh, is there anything else that I need to... Yes, we need to equip the shoes. Of course, we need to equip those. You eventually want to... I mean, other than it, uh, the Necromancer being in an intelligence build set specifically, uh, like the wizard, but you do want some vitality and you do want some strength because you want that survivability. So I highly recommend doing that. Uh, yeah, Wings of the Crypt Guardian, absolutely. Uh, penance, yes, please. Thank you very much. Portrait frames, necro, yes. Ha ha! That's another one of the reasons why I think the Necromancer, especially in Diablo 3 Reaper Souls, is, de is definitely, definitely one of my favorite character plays. Or player playable characters in Diablo. Got a buckler. Well, might as well just equip you so that way you can, we can get the best of what we can do. Old Tristram, Diablo wants his hands. Get eviscerated. Shoes. Don't need those because they don't have any good stats on them. That's why they're blank is because there's not very much good stats on them at all. <clears throat> so
So I will be, eventually I will be putting this video on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, you can also follow me on YouTube, Urban Shooter SP. And I have uh, multiple of different uh, video game videos on there as well. So if you're ever interested in uh, following me there, that would be awesome. First handman of the queen. Ooh, so dirty. Ooh, what do we get? Please give me something good, though. Repeat. Ah! Oh, <laughs> love it. It's a nice skill to have. A nice skill. Get wrecked. Give me that loot. Ooh, hello. The rumors of torture and worse grow every day. What has happened to Tristram and its king? I once thought Leoric a great man, but it seems I was deceived. We all were. He sends God, those our wings are pretty dope. army against West like March the on tomorrow. What will become of us? Ooh, keen short sword of wounding. Uh, looks like that you are definitely a lot better. One to two damage, uh, plus two point zero attack speed. Awesome, and that's a magic sword too. Very nice. Dark Saddle. So Level five. Me. Very nice. Now this is where what I'm talking about the skeletal mage. We are now going to equip that skill, and I will show exactly what I mean by using that skeletal mage secondary skill. It's pretty awesome. Adventure short sword of wounding. Ew. Uh, that's not a very good one. I always end up uh, selling the weapons that are not any good Thank you for your to help. make better, Could to you get some, some better loot and maybe possible be better drops down the line. <gasps> Gathering Sash of Focus. Nice! Ahaha! Plus two intelligence, gold health pickup increased by one yard. Very cool. Yes, sir. Oops. I will help you. Let's see. Uh, skills. So this is what that looks like. I might just use that, maybe. We'll use that for a little I while, I think. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. Bye. One experience per kill. Vitality. We don't have any pants. Are you serious? Well, might as well buy some of those. Ooh, hello. Strength vitality. Ooh, those are pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to grab those just for the hell of it because it just seems that it's going to be beneficial. So let's hurry up and equip those. Okay, where are you? There you are. Ooh, look at the sexy color on that too, man. I like that. So, 
I'm actually going to end it here for right now, and I'll make a part two here in just a few minutes. So stay tuned here at Urban Shooter SP on Twitch. I'll be right back.